In this video, we'll take a look at Simulation 2 from Experience 2. Simulation shows how different histograms will result in better or worse portrayals of the same data set. Choosing any of the data set should reveal pretty much the same thing. You can also enter in your own. Suppose we pick arm strength. At the top, you see a histogram that's been created for a certain class width and a certain lower limit. At the bottom, you can change the width of the classes, here called bins, and you can change the lower limit of the first one, again called bins. In these graphs below, you see that there are many blue dots and then there's one red dot. The red dot shows the cross-validation, which is kind of a measure of error and uncertainty. And what you'd like is for that to be as low as possible. So the initial graph that comes up shows the minimized cross-validations and the best histogram. Notice by doing things like increasing the bin width, here I see the red dot jumping from place to place. And maybe making fewer classes that are wider, resulting in a much worse cross-validation. Notice that it's a lot higher. So that was the main thing I wanted us to see here is how it's a nice balance between the right number of classes, right? And then maybe even with too small of a width, we start to get a worse portrayal of the data again. But in general, the danger is having too few of classes and then being too wide. You can see that the same data set starts to have a completely different look and loses some of its pattern. So experiment around a little bit and even feel free to put in your own data and find out the best histogram size for you.